Okay, I'm going to show you the fastest way that I've found to prepare songs and warp them for live performance. So we're going to go into the preferences. It's command comma. And we're going to make sure that in record warp launch, auto warp long samples is set to off. And I always like to have the default warp mode on repitch. I've run these tracks already through mixed and key, so I know what the BPM is and I know what key it is. So it's actually really quite simple. We just select all the tracks that are at 70, make sure that our global tempo is set to 70, and we will press warp. This is going to conform all these tracks to 70, so now the important thing is really just finding a downbeat. So we'll zoom in here to bar four, and I, I know that that's the downbeat just by the way it looks. Just set the one there, and then we will drag the start point back. So I know it's exactly four bars here before it comes in. And then literally, we just drag it into a folder. And then the same thing for the next track. I'll just go ahead and find that downbeat. Set the one. And drag the start. It's always going to be exactly a figure like negative 8 or negative 4 or negative 16 if you've done it correctly. So you can select now in Live 10 a length of time and hit Z to zoom to that point. Again, right click, set one, zoom back out, put the one at negative eight. So then the next time that you drag that file in, it's, it's already warped, ready to go.